Welcome to Trophy TV, it's the Everton News Daily. Carlo Ancelotti has delivered his pre-match press conference for the Sunday's trip to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, Ancelotti confirmed that um, Andre Gomez and Mason Holgate may be fit for Sunday's expecting them both to train on Saturday. Uh, Gomez, who only lasted just over the half-hour mark in last night's 1-1 draw with Southampton, had a slight knock on his ankle. Colgate missed the game, but should be fit for Sunday. Um, the manager also confirmed Fabian Delph still out, training uh, with a physio on his own at the moment, but did say that he expected them to play some part before the end of the season. Um, obviously, fortnight time before the season finishes, so Delph hopefully getting himself fit in time to take part in one of those games. Uh, Alex Awobi is fit or should be fit for Sunday as well. The manager did hint that he might make some changes, so he said he needs to put the players out in the best physical condition um, and you know, hinted that some fresh changes. So obviously Theo Walcott was back in the squad last night, although he didn't get on. Um, he's been training this week, obviously, we saw uh, Jibril Sidibe come on a half-time as well. So there is options for um, the manager to change it on Sunday. Um, Ancelotti did say we have to improve our away form and our character. He was disappointed with the first half display in particular last night. And Everton just couldn't really get going again last night after Monday's disappointing display at Spurs. So, you know, he did. He also said that the team just aren't at 100% physical fitness for whatever reason. Maybe the games are coming too fast for them with only having a couple of weeks um, training before they started the game after lockdown. Who knows, it is a little bit like pre-season at the moment, but four games to go and it's about getting as many points as possible now between now and the end of the season. Um, former Premier League referee Mark Halsey has said that two decisions went against Everton last night in the 1-1 draw. Halsey said that Bednarek, the uh, Southampton defender, should have been issued with a red card for his challenge on Richarlison. He said the ball, Richarlison could still reach the ball um, despite the direction of the ball changing. And once Bednarek fouls him, brings him down, that is the denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. So he should have been issued with a red. Um, and Halsey also said the uh, penalty given by uh, Lee Mason for Southampton was the wrong decision as well. He said the referee simply has to go to the monitor and check it. It isn't a penalty. He's fallen before there's any contact. Uh, and he blamed Mike Riley and the Referees Association um, for the way they've used VAR. He said VAR is very simple and easy to use. Shouldn't be making mistakes that it is. Um, and he's, he's blamed Mike Riley, which, which I'm fully behind. Fully behind. Uh, so there you go. Halsey was speaking to Team Talk Radio um, this morning. Uh, Nathaniel Markello has been linked with a loan move to FC20. Dutch news outlets uh, reporting that Marcel Brands is hopeful of tying that deal up this week. Um, 21 him signed and in training before the 27th of July. So obviously that's just a fortnight away. Um, Markello signed a new two-year deal at Everton a couple of weeks ago. So it'll be a good move for him going back to his home country and getting games in a first team. He's obviously trained with the first team at Everton, but hasn't been on the bench or used. So it'd be good for him to go and see if it, whether he can perform at that level, I guess. Uh, and then Everton would obviously make a decision on him next summer, depending on how he's done at Twente. Uh, and Everton today, again linked with James Rodriguez. He's been left out of Real Madrid squad to face Alaves tonight. Uh, Marca, the Spanish news outlet, reporting that Rodriguez uh, could move to Everton this summer for £18 million. Uh, obviously, Carlo Ancelotti was asked about him earlier this week and said he really admires the player, but he plays for Madrid and said that it isn't the right time to talk about him. But Marca, uh, again, linking him with a move to Goodison. That is it. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and if you want more videos, join us on Patreon. See you later.